Mac fans, welcome back. Today we're looking at editing in QGIS. This will be an introductory video and we're going to look at points and lines. So let's get on with it. Today we're travelling by map to Leeds in Northern England. And over on the left hand side you can see in my layers panel I have got the Ordnance Survey data brought into QGIS and I've styled it according to the Ordnance Survey style sheets which you can find on GitHub. Now there's a number of reasons why you might want to edit data, it might be wrong in the first place and in this first example we'll have a look at some potential survey data. Here we are in Leeds and the green points are along the River Air, and we're going to imagine that these are survey points. So we've been taking surveys along the River Air. Now you might notice that there is one survey point that is around about Bailey Park, and that does not look correct. So this could happen if you're out using a GPS and for some reason you lose signal or you're using smartphones to collect data and at that point gets waylaid. In order to fix this, we can use our editing tools. And at the moment, I've cleaned up the top bars of my interface, just so that I can show you this a little bit. And if I right click, go down to my toolbars and turn on the digitizing toolbar, that's the one that we want. So not the editing toolbar, which didn't exist in Q, but digitizing. So if I turn that on, you can see it appear up here in the left hand side. And in order to edit this point, what I'd like to do is move it to where I know we were taking a survey. So I'm going to highlight the layer in the layers panel, and then we can toggle editing by pressing the little pencil button. And you can see that a little pencil appears in the icon next to survey points as well. Now, the other tools on the digitizing toolbar come to life, or some of them do, uh, as soon as you start an editing session. And we've got various different things that we can do here. So we can add a point feature, or we can use our vertex tool. So I am going to use the vertex tool. And I'm going to use it for the current layer. With the vertex tool selected, if I move over into the map window, you can see that I get crosshairs. And if I go over this wayward point, it turns red. All I need to do is one left click, and then I can start to move the point to where it should be. Now, obviously, if you're not keeping good records, you might not know where this point must be. Um, but if you are, say for example, you were taking pictures and you know that you were underneath this railway bridge, then you can drop the point there. You might want to zoom in a bit as well, just to make sure that you've got it in the right spot. And using your scroll wheel, you can also move the map about. So I'm just going to drop it under here, under that bridge. That looks good. If it's not good, up in the top left, you also have an undo button, which can be very useful when you are editing. I'm not going to use the undo button here. I'm just going to save my edits. So you can do that by going over to the usual save icon and clicking that. And there we go. I've saved my edits and that is now a moved point. When you've finished editing, you can stop the session just by toggling your edit like so. And you can see that the survey points icon loses that pencil mark. You can edit multiple layers at once if you would like to, and if you are doing that, then the multiple pencils over on the left hand side allow you to cancel for selected or cancel for all layers according to what you're doing. Um, just in case you forget to save, if I move this point back to somewhere further downstream, let's go here, and I forget to save, if I stop my edit session, QGIS will ask if I'd like to save or discard. I'm going to discard that one because it was right the first time. There we go. And then I can end my edit session. Next, we'll take a look at line editing. Obviously, lines are slightly more complex geometry than simple points. For this example, let's take a look at the Leeds Liverpool Canal. And I got the line file for this from Ordnance Survey's Open Rivers. 
there's a link in the description as always it looks like the leeds liverpool canal has got a life of its own at the moment and these are just some of the things that you can do with editing it's very unlikely that you're going to want to make a canal into a circle but it can prove very useful if you are trying to advertise a face-to-face -face course which is taking place in leeds on april the 16th and 17th 2020 that's right it's in leeds so if you're interested in signing up for that there is a link in the description below it would be great to see you there and we'll be going through QGIS right from beginning principles to creating your own map and performing your own spatial analysis. Exciting stuff. Let's take a closer look at our Leeds Liverpool canal. Now I've extracted this canal from the main data set and I've just made it green so that we can see it very clearly. Uh, to extract it from the main Ordnance Survey Open Rivers dataset, I have simply selected it and then exported selected features as a new shapefile. If you'd like to know more about how you can slice some dicey data like that, then check out the video, which is appearing in your screen now. Okay, with editing, if I highlight this particular layer and then toggle the editing as we did before, you can see that all the buttons become live and I can use the vertex tool again. Now, if you think about points, points are single, a point is a single vertex. And if I hang my crosshairs over the line, you can see that lines are made up of many vertices. And the vertices are the red dots. So if I wanted to change the course of the Leeds Liverpool Canal, I can hang over one of these dots and I can left click and then just move it. And you can see this red dotted line kind of very faintly. That shows you where the line is going to be redrawn to. So if I draw it here, you can see that our river moves. Now, what if you want to add vertices, if you want to make it more complicated? Well, if you hang over a line in the middle there, you can see a red X. And if I click on that red X, that will create a new vertex wherever the red X is. And you can see that I'm moving these around as such. Now you can also move chunks of vertices at the same time. And you can do that by moving away from the line that you're editing and then left clicking and drawing a box. I'm gonna to need to redraw that box. So I want to get these three new vertices that I made. And you can see they're all selected. They turn blue to show that they're selected as a group. And if I click on that and move them up here, you can see how those vertices move as a group. Again, if I want to save my editing, I can hit the save button up here, or I can simply turn off editing and it will ask if I would like to save them. Now we've done some major work on the Leeds Liverpool Canal there, but remember this is only on our map. It's not really made a difference to the Leeds Liverpool Canal. So there's some very basic editing and that's just looking at points and lines. Now, if you'd like to see a video of more advanced editing, I'm not sure how much demand there is for this, but if you would like to see a more advanced video, then please smash that like button. If this video gets more than 50 likes, then I will look at doing a more advanced editing video. And that will likely include topology as well. Ooh, the wonderful world of topology. However, that is all I'm going to go through for today. Thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for all your comments, for all your likes, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Did anybody mention that there's a course in Leeds, a QGIS course face-to-face? -face? Get in touch if you'd like to be a part of that. It would be great to see you there. In the meantime, keep mapping, keep doing it in a happy fashion. Happy mapping.